Hello, this is Marco with eDirectory.com and thank you for tuning in to our Getting Started video series. These short videos are designed to help our new users get set up and working on their new eDirectory websites as quickly as possible. In this edition, we'll cover logging into your site. To begin, I'm going to pull up a successful purchase page for an order that was completed online for one of our cloud services for eDirectory. As you can see here, on the page it will have the login and site access links with a temporary password, ABC123. And then there are other links uh, to log into your eDirectory as well as others to the front end, back end, sponsors area, some friendly, I'm sorry, frequently asked questions. Uh, in addition to this here, you're going to pull up a few emails. You should receive an order confirmation immediately following the completion of the order welcoming you aboard, having some of your order details, as well as how to get in contact with support should you need any further assistance. Along with that, you're gonna have an email entitled eDirectory Setup Done. This confirming that the setup and installation of your software has been completed. It's going to include site access, links to get to your site, as well as some other information that is very helpful for getting started with your eDirectory. But for this video, we're just gonna focus on how to log in. So we have this link here and the one back here in the browser, which will both take you to your um, temporary domain that was created, and it's going to bring you to the login section of the site manager area. So the email address is going to be the same one that was used to place the order, and the password is going to be the one provided, which is ABC123. The first thing we'll then ask you to do is to create a some more secure password, something easy to remember. Type that in twice, change it, and you're good to go. This will now take you to the site manager area, the admin dashboard, uh, back end of your new directory. Uh, again, if you need this information, you'll have it in the eDirectory setup done email. It will have all your login information. However, that temporary password will no longer be valid, so it's up to you to remember your new password. If you did not receive this email, please contact support, or if you have any issues getting into your new site, please contact us right away. Otherwise, you should have been able to log into your site manager and get started on building up your eDirectory site. Thanks again for tuning in. This was logging into your new site, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.